mountains that I would have to climb and there would be battles that I would have to fight but victory or defeat it's up to me to decide but how can I expect to win if I never try I just said there wouldn't be trials he never said i wouldn't fall he never said that everything would go the way i wanted to go but when my back is against the wall and i feel a home is gone i just lift my head up to the sky and say lord help me to be strong this far amen God has brought us where we are today from 1957 until today it's a long journey but listen carefully it was not easy but it was a blessing wow. are you blessed tia mong ka nang maluwas ka makadawal ka sa ginoo yan na kay peace ay mong kasing-kasing yan na kay gipaabot ng langit oo so, iba, ni kapot ito, doon ay kipangatanan. Nga, nung niya ka diri? Niya ko diri, kay gipato ko si Stephen ba? Sa nga ni mo, Stephen? Gipangatanan, tagabuhol. Ikaw, kasi nga ni mo? Gihatag nga. Kasi nga nung namatay ka? Kolesterol. <laughs> Sobrang kolesterol. Thank God, Father Baton. Give a big hand of welcome. Shall you all stand up, please, as we have our Bibles open now? The book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. If you're ready with your uh, envelope, with something inside, those of you who have received this envelope uh, this morning, Mike, it should not take time. O siguro, we will ask the ushers once again, you know, after the service, to, uh, to take this offering because... This very urgent, mga kagsunan nga makatigong taog fund para sa 
Osaka L300 or my unta. Now somebody could write a check for amounting 1 million, 2 million, 3 million, 4 million, like that. And we can buy uh, vehicles that will be used for the glory of God. Amen? So I hope that the Lord will, will really touch our heart. We'll see the things that we need to see. There's still people that need to know the gospel of Jesus Christ. We ought to be appreciative of what God has done for us. You know, sa nakita na ako, may sunod, pagka nindot nga ato na sabtan yun ang gospel, may balita. Kaysa highly educated na ito karoon yung generasyon, bisan unsa usahin na ito ka-witness may mga tao in all their in all their education, dili kasabot mga kaigsunan sa gospel. Kung nakakaroon, bisan wa ka kaagi uskulahan, wala ka naka-eskwila, nakaagi ka lang eskwilahan, kaya nag-ulan, kaya napasilong ka, o niya naluwas ka, kaya nasabta ni mo that Jesus Christ took your place, He died for you, mga kaigsunan, glory to God. Pagkadako mga kaigsunan ng bagay nga nakasabot o kaluwasan, o karoon, tuyok-tuyok na po ka ng kasing-kasing ni Padre Pio, nakabasa mo sa news? Na sa media, mga kaigsunan, sa GMA, naka, naduk, nadungok na ako. Ang, may may naay kasing-kasing ang pare, 50 years ago, na preserve, in, gitawag nila, incorruptible heart of Father Pio. Ituyok na po na tibuok Pilipinas. Tiaw mo na, mga kaigsunan. That's why we have to preach the gospel because time is coming that people will not endure and listen to the right preaching. But they will believe and, you know, they will easily accept those myths and those uh, fables that are being taught. Tradisyon sa reliyon, mga kaigsunan. So kung luwa siya karun, pasalamat tao, amen? Pasalamat tao, you to rejoice, bisa na kalisunan ng panahon, naaman si Kristo sa ato, nagpasalig man nato, basta he will just seek first God's kingdom. He will take care of all our need. While we are, we are here, mga kaigsunan, He'll take care of our lives. While He is preparing a place for us. Now, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 12 down to 14. Basaw na tudungan. Are you there now? Say hello, amen. 12, 13, and 14. Ready? Go. And we beseech you, brethren, to know them which labor among you, and are over you in the Lord, and admonished you, and to esteem them very highly in love for their work's sake, and be at peace among yourselves. Now we exhort you, brethren, warn them that are unruly, comfort the feeble-minded, support the weak, be patient toward all men. Heavenly Father, Lord, we are so grateful again that we come back this afternoon to the house of God, where we can be gathered together and with one voice, one heart, one motive to glorify you and worship you in our midst. Thank you for your word that you have preserved for us. Thank you for the sweet Holy Spirit that is guiding us, comforting us, empowering us, enabling us to do the work of God. Thank you for all the blessings you have showered upon us and may we'll continue to be, uh, in, uh, you will continue to entrust us with many more blessings so that Lord we can also uh, offer ourselves be a blessing to the whole world. Lord God, we thank you for the vision of this church, for the man of God you have given us to give us direction and spiritual uh, uh, leadership. We thank you, dear Lord, for your example, for his life. And I pray, O oh God, that you will give us an appreciative heart as well. How you have loved us, you have cared for us by giving us such a man who to take care of our spiritual needs. I pray now that you will again guide me and lead me and help me to be a blessing to your people even as I preach this afternoon. Get all the glory and the honor again. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you. Please be seated. I, will, I beseech you, brethren, Paul said, to know them which labor among you. I have mentioned this morning, I still remember, uh, one of those uh, statements that I made, that in order for us to really uh, uh, maximize our support and our prayers for the man of God is that we must first of all know our leader, know the man that God had called to minister to our spiritual need. And Paul said, I beseech you, brethren, to know them which labor among you. You know, the moment you know the man of God, you, the moment you know very well 
your pastor, you can be able to also extend and share, you know, the support and the, uh, the encouragement that you need to also extend to him so that he will become more effective in the ministry that, that God has entrusted to him. So, knowing your pastor will help you respond also to his leadership. Pagkadagan, mga kasimbahan, mga kaigsunan, they are dying a natural death. Instead of having a vibrant church being led by, you know, dapat maled sa mga vibrant leaders who knows they're calling upon uh, from the Lord, may mga, may mga kasimbahanan, mga, they have stopped existing according to what God has designed and purpose for them. Why? The people are not just responsive. The people are not obeying. The people are not also doing their part in, uh, in the ministry of the Lord. It is because one big reason is that they do not know their pastor. Can you imagine? Your pastor is your preacher. Your pastor is God's ambassador. Your pastor is your shepherd that will take care of you, that will feed you, that will protect you, that will lead you, that will guide you, that will guard you. You know, know him as your shepherd. Your pastor is your teacher. He learns the doctrine and truths of God. And now like your church here, our church here in Katipunan, we have produced many Bible teachers already because it is the result of the man of God teaching you truths and uh, doctrines in the Bible. And now, you know, he can delegate such a ministry because God has multiplied that spiritual gifts, that uh, that teaching gift coming from the Lord so you can take care of different ministries, different areas in uh, spiritual ministry of the Lord. You can help now your pastor. Your pastor is your overseer. Sad to say, may mga simbahan magigsunan, nga ila sit up sa ila, sa ila simbahan, sa leadership. Ginoo, ona, God. They acknowledge that God is the owner of the church. Magigsunan, He's the head of the church. Pero after God, it is the committees. You know? Lahit lahat ng mga committees diha, napahimutang. Then, the congregation, the pastor, and then the janitor. Ang gilabawan lang, gitaas ang posisyon sa pastor, ang janitor. O say, wala janitor, eh, simbahan siya po ang janitor. Eh, siguro na-share na ako, may naisimbahan dito sa, dito sa Negros Kaniyad to, mga kagsunan nga, na-kick out ang pastor tungkol one Sunday, Mga kaigsunan, wa guys sa kabalo, right after the service, nag-meeting sila ng simbahan. O niya, right there and then, ila gindisaydan niya, ila pastor, ila i-kick out, kay wala ka paninlo sa ila CR. Kaya nag-CR sila, may mga men of the church nag-CR, o niya, pero ting bahua ang CR. O niya, ingon nila sila meeting, pastor, Nga no man, kaya gisilduhan ka na mo, dre, nga wa man yun, kaya take care, kaya timan sa CR. Maunang ila pagkilala sa ila pastor. So, may kisun, dili pwede na, kung jabasa ka Bible, if you know your God, you know your Bible, you're gonna find such a system in the Bible. Amen? It is not God, committees, congregation, pastor, then janitor. No, it is always God, then the man of God, and everything falls in, in line under that. Because God put your pastor as the overseer. The Bible says he had called the pastors to oversee the ministry, to oversee the flock of the Lord Jesus Christ. You can find that in Acts chapter 20 and verse number 28. Your pastor is your overseer. And later on, he is ruler many, many times. Gigamit na nga term, your pastor is the ruler in the church. And sometimes, ba, it's very hard term, mga kaigsunan. It suggests sometimes, ingunay mo, murag diktador da, one man rule, ana, but no, the church, the church must accept the responsibility or the authority that God has set in the church. And the pastor has been given that authority to provide leadership and to put things in order into proper place. There is no such church that will grow as much as they must grow as God have designed it, kung ang pastor makikisunan, dili pastor sa simbahan. As a shepherd, he must take the lead. Di ka kakita, bakiro nga ang nag, ang nag siya ha, ang nag-control siya ha, ang nag-govern siya, ang iyang mga karnero. 
ang bakero mo yung panguna sa mga karnero. Amen? Unless, the Bible says, that's why Paul said, I think this, this also had happened during his time. Because in verse 14, he mentioned, Now we exhort you, brethren, warn them that are unruly. Those that cannot be ruled. Those that have, that have refused to be ruled or to obey the authority. They are called in the Bible, unruly. And Paul said, warn those disobedient. Warn those that are rebellious in attitude. They do not recognize, do not obey authority. Don't you know that authority, God-given authority, is our protection? Pariho lang na ang authority, mga kaigsunan, sa payong God, kanang payong. When you are under the umbrella, you are protected from the heat of the sun. You, you are also protected from the rain. As long as you stay under that payong, but you get out, of that payong, ikaw ma manalod sa tanan. Amen? Ikaw mo maigo. The authority is there to protect you. The authority is there to maintain peace and order. So God said, you must know your pastor. He is the ruler. And ruler has rules and regulation. You gotta be a ruler without rules and regulation. And the rules of regulation of the pastor is the Word of God. Amen? It's just in the Word of God. We cannot make other commandments or other things, other words, you know. Nga mo mugiya na ito, nara na sa Bible. The true church of Jesus Christ will always follow God's authority that is set forth in the Word of God. So, know your pastor. Not only knowing him, not no, not only knowing his dilemma. Magingon kita dilemma. He's always in between two go, not good choices. Kung na kung himo niya ni murag dili maayo sa uban tao. Kung diri na siya mo killing mo ni decision. He is not going to please everybody. And mao nang amo kim tangan usahay. Ah mga pastor. So ayaw ka mo offended maingon ah ang ako pastor wa gud niya ko na please wa gud ko na lipay niya kang ako mga decision murag dili niya gud ah uh, paburan mga kaigsoonan your pastor will always make decisions according to what God is leading him to do he is not here to please everybody so that when you know his ministry and his calling you will understand him and you can give that proper response Growing maturely, obeying and staying with Him. Amen? So, mga kigsunan, it's very, very important not only that you will know His dilemma, but you must also know His difficulty. It's difficult to be a pastor. You try. If you are not called by the Lord, you just try. Force yourself to become a pastor. You will only last maybe uh, seven days and then quit. There are plenty of difficulties. All the... You know, all the enemies are against us. The world and Satan is there. All the many, many pressures that the pastor is encountering. Many, may mga, kaigso, may mga pamilya guys sa pastor, usahin na nga daot. Mga asawa nila nagbiya sa gibayaan ila pastor. Mga anak nila, hala, na, naas kalibutan. Kaya nga naman, usahin na misunderstood po nila. Ang ila daddy, nga wala na time sa isa kay Na na lang, ministry, 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 ministry. Have you realized when, when your pastor is giving you one hour for counseling, he can no longer give that one hour to his wife or to his children? That is a very, very precious gift your pastor can give to you. He cannot give it. Makisuna na siya mga loved ones. So it takes, a, uh, it takes for a wife or the pastor and the children of the pastor to understand also his ministry. Pagkadagan usay mga simbahan sa nangadaot ni ini magigsunan if the pastor cannot balance his ministry his family madaot ang duha both the ministry and the family so the pressures are there for the pastor to make a balance and so, to see things the way God wants him to see it so you pray you must understand so that when you understand all these difficulties dili na nimo dagdagan ang iya problema amen you will help him solve. And you will make, you know, his leadership very easy. Because naakadiyan, naging asset, liability, sa ministry, ginhatag sa Diyos niya. 
So, know his difficulty. Know the dangers involved. Know his deficiency. May mga membro sa atin, may mga Kristo. Ano nangita, ang perfecto nga pastor. Walay perfecto nga pastor. Amen. May nagayo sa mga membro. Kanang in English na lang sa pastor. Kanang, uh, kanang iya grammar. Kanang pronunciation niya. Maunang gibantayan na lang. So, nasplit ang siba. Tungod lang sa sayo nga grammar sa pastor. Sayo pang iya pagka-pronounce. <laughs> Sige siya, Ana. Sige sa lista ba? Ingo siya, Pastor Kini, may membro ko, interesado yun, tanaw, anamino, gisa misahe, kaya naman nag-take down notes man. Pero pagkatapos niya, ingo niya, Pastor, tanaw, 101 wrong mistakes sa imo grammar. 103, ang ako na-record sa iyo, pang imo pagka-pronounce. Tanaw, ano? Be patient, because even in our gra- ang amo, ang amo grammar, usahin, kining, we are not that perfect, Amen? Know that your pastor is also deficient. Gamasakit sa mi oy, amen. Dili mi perfecto gamasakit mi onya. May mga daghan mga discouragement, atake sa mua, spiritual, social, in every aspect of our lives as well. So it's very difficult, and we are also we are having deficiency in our lives. Then, lastly, know his desire. Do you know the desire of your pastor? Ha? Huh? Kabalo ka sa dreams, desires sa imo pastor? Mga kaigsunan. Pagkaanindot sa ministry, onya, if you can act on his desire, you can help him reach his desire, mga kaigsunan, pagkaanindot. Right? Si, si San Pablo, kini si San Pablo, may naasad mga desires. Ang una yung sa tanawa nyo, on sang desire sang pastor in Romans chapter 1 and in verse number Romans chapter 10 verse number 1 ingon ni Paul brethren my heart's desire and prayer to God for Israel is that they might be saved tanawan ang desire ni San Pablo is representing all the preachers missionaries and pastors we also have desires and it's my joy magigsunan it's my inspiration nga nga ako desire ihatag, i-grant man si Ginoo. Kaya yung sa Bible, uh, delight thyself also in the Lord and He will give you the desires of your heart. What is that, Pastor? What does that mean? Delight yourself also in the Lord. Means, Make yourself happy. Enjoy serving the Lord. Enjoy God. Enjoy the Bible. Enjoy your worship. Enjoy your service to God. Enjoy the things of God. Ang sayop na ito, say, ang ato kalipay na aman sa kalibutan. Dili man sa ginoo. Ang ato kalipay wala sa simbahan. Murag miserable itang anaata sa simbahan. Nga naman ni aman ko eh. Ta- natapos na ako itong ako episode nga gitanaw tanaw sa TV Ang ako Facebook, wa pa na ako matubag tong uban. Nga na umaknaman ko simbahan. Tiyaw mo na, you are in the church of Jesus Christ. You are engaged in worshiping the true God. Sometimes dili ka happy nga na ka sa simbahan. Sometimes you, you know, muad to ta simbahan because you know, the murag tradisyon na lang muad to ta simbahan, murag iguyod na lang na ito. ito lang. Simbahan na saan? Oh. We wake up late. And then so we come to church late. I believe we need to come to church on time. Or maybe even before time, you can fellowship with one another. Nga naman sa tanang institusyon, ang simbahan man yun, atong paborito, nga mo atin talate. Nga naman bisan sa flag ceremony, kinala na agyot at, ha, mayo na, amen? Kinala makapansin yun sa ato matrabaho. Nga naman, Traba, nga kinanglan mo gina, ngayon mo on, para pastor ka nang ako, kwan, babos ba, malipay po ba? Kana di ang pagkat to simbahan, di malipay ang Diyos ni Hana, on time ka? You're trying to please your boss and anybody, pero gino ni Hatag siya, precious blood para maluwas ka, di ni mo lipay ni Hana siya. Amen? Those are just very simple things, very practical things, but sometimes we do not mind to do that. We do not take we do not take concern about because God is a God of details 
And you know, many times, gitanot in niya, gitakos, gimeasure ta sa Diyos sa mga gagmay butang. Kung kinsa ba da, sa iya ha. If we can be trusted with little things, then God can also trust us with greater things. So, diri mga kiksunan, the, the desire of your, of your pastor, like the desire of Paul, is that for his people to be saved. His desire is the salvation of his people. My heart's desire and prayer to God for Israel is that they might be saved. Unsa man na pastor, murag irrelevant man na sa mua. Save na good me. Kinsa na sayon. Ang gusto ni Pastor, diba itong tanan niya, mimpro sa New Life Bible Baptist Church, manap lang, nga pagkarapture, dalami, tanan. Magkita ay may dito sa langit. Pero I'm so afraid, like what Paul, you know, he was also afraid during his time. Ingin niya, examine yourselves whether you are in the faith. Know yourselves. Why is there not an expression and manifestation of being a real saved person? Dili ka lang magayang pasusib na ko ay pruwa isang proof. Wala sang mark. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Usan na sa mga marks. Kung tinood ang luwas, bago ka ng binuhat sa ginoo, bago ka ng tao sa ginoo. Yung past life mo, past na to. Amen. All things have passed away, and behold, new things are coming. And being experienced by you, being, having, having been born again into the family of God. Do you have a mark? Bisa ni ka makaingon ka, No, hala, nagbago giko, salamat, you know, dili ko kabago sa ako kinibuy. But because you came into my heart, it is your power transforming me. Not only reforming you, but transforming you from the inside out. Have you experienced that one? Nga mo atubang ka sa salamin, ikaw mismo makaingon, wow, you are a new person. And those people around you, in your family, in the streets, in the school, uh, uh, where, where you are enrolled, where you are studying, or maybe in the workplace, makaingon yun, makanotice ni mo. Nagpag-uman ni siya, no? Kung siya higiyagi kaon, naglahi naman ang iya kinabuhi. Kanabatasan niya. May naikabaguhan. Ang imo attitude sa magbutang iya sa Ginoo nagbago sad. Do you have that mark? Mo nang amo desire ka mapasor nga unta if we have if Dr. Selva has 15,000 members in this church, everyone will be in heaven. Pagka very ironic, makikisunan unya very tragic. Kung karon sa ato, pagkadagan sa ato, karon murapture, unya may mahabilin pa diyod. Because salvation is not just because you are being baptized, you have been baptized, no. That water in bapt baptistry cannot wash away your sins. You are not saved because you are saved not because of baptism. I don't care if you are joined the choir. You have been there even at the start, until now, you have been so faithfully singing the choir. But singing the choir will not get you to heaven. You must understand that in order for you to go to heaven, Jesus said, you must be born again. That's why our desire, dear Lord, in out unta, in out unta, in out unta, ang tanan ng mga mimbro, nagpamimbro. Because it is by faith on the Lord Jesus Christ that will make you a member of the family of God in heaven. It is true, what is baptism that will, that will count you as one of the members of the body of Jesus Christ here on earth. And you can dip yourself in that water without being born again. Pwede. Usa, I guess, during our time, may eksyonan sa Amun area, may requirement may how many souls we are going to witness to. May mga... May na may requirement pilakat pila katawa ng amo mabautis muan ma follow up ana so sa amo gusto matuman ang amo ma makumplito ang amo requirements usahay may mga may mga Bible student nga mo engage sa dinaya ba bakak ingon nila tagaan ta ka lima ka kilog bugas ha pagkatapos nato simba kuyo simbaan unya chay mo imon maligo ka dito may naami ka dito si Mingpul 
Agfert ng babuha. Kung pangutan o kasi ang kuhandi ang mag... Kana, may ingon, nakadawat ka na kay Yeso Kristo? Oh, ingon ka lang, oo, 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 oo. O niya, liguan ka dito sa swimming pool. Agwa po ah, bugnaw kahit tubig kaya. I do not know kung unsay rason, mga kaisunan, nga naman ni Akan na mimbro ka. Ang pangutan ako personal, kung ma-rapture karong hapuna, karong gabi una, madala ba ka? Sigurado ka ba do you have that reason, that reason that will make you 100% sure of heaven. Pwede ba yan na ito mamemorize, mga kaisunan? Ang simple plan of salvation. Pwede. Theoretically, pwede. Mamimorize na ito na. And God can use those, especially when you are witnessing. My, my two children have experienced that one. At one time, mag-exune on Saturday night, I was about to go to sleep. Si Sirisya, siguro she was, uh, na siya siguro mga 13 years old pa siya, 14. Ana? Before, before kundi tulog, niabli ang kwarto, ingon niya, nihilak siya. Ingon niya, Dad, help me, Dad, help me. I am not saved, I am not saved. Ingon na, what happened, Risha? Ya, Dad, dili ko saved, Dad, dili ko saved. Ingon na ako, kining, at, ang kining amo katri ni Mami, saksi ni, nga naman makiingon ka, di ka saved. I led you to the Lord, right? I led you in a sinner's prayer in this path. Nakainumdum. Nyo, Dad, yes. Nakainumdum ko ni Lord. I have been, you know, ako gigi-examine ang ako relasyon. Sige, no, nagibalikan ko itong mga past na ako, anak. I can still remember that night. Pero, Dad, dili, tog, yuti. Kinasing-kasing, I was just going with you. And I was afraid to ask. I was shy to ask something. Kung unsa. Basta sige lang ko sunod-sunod ni mo kay Daddy Tika. O niya, Pastor, pagyod ka. Niya, so nag-ingon, so nag-imo ko gilid sa sinner's prayer. Nagsige lang po ko. Kuhan, sunod-sunod ni mo, batlip na yung mga, I know that I was not saved. So, nga naman na kasi ingon ako, nga, nga, kung siya man nga nakaingon ka na hindi ka saved, kanina, Dad, mag-witnessan ko. Na-save ang iyaw, gi-witnessan. O niya, ingon, Lola, ay manang, panaglitan mo matay ka, asa pa ingon, ingon mo kalag, ingon niya, langit. Nakita na ako, dan ang glow, ang kalipay sa nawong, sa babae nga ako, kiwitisan. Ingon ako, nga naman, na, nga naman kabaluman ka na save ka, ingon ni, di ba, ingon ni mo, kung mutuo ko, kung Yesu Kristo, dawato na ako siya, ingon ako, pero siya maluluwa, sinulsunan na ako, ako sa malangit ko. I did it! And when I did that, I know I am saved. Muna, gituuhan niya ang gisulti ni Risha. But Risha herself, mga kaigsunan, she cannot rejoice with that woman. And the Holy Spirit of the Lord strike her heart. Ikaw ya, Risha. Save ang imo witnessan for ikaw. And the doubt came in. Because she knows with that night, sang ako sa ginlid, mga kaigsunan, dili to siya kasing-kasing. Hingunako sao? What are we going to do? That I want to be sure of my salvation tonight. Hingunako, do I need to, you know, do I need to let you uh, go through again simple plan of salvation? Hingunako, no need. I know how to do it. Hingunako, Monchaka, I have to call on the Lord Jesus Christ right now. Right here. Siya nila nagampo. Lord God, please forgive me my sin. I know I am a sinner. I need your mercy. I need your grace. It's not because I am a daughter of the pastor. I've been growing up in this church. I've always been in the ministry. I know all these things. But Lord, deep down my heart, I know I am not saved. Please come into my heart. Right after she prayed, she embraced me. Praise the Lord. I am saved. So I went out. Ingon ako, Mami, let us rejoice tonight. One soul got saved. Risha just got saved. Everybody, ubana Bible story, mga staff, mga naa pa dito sa balay, po ni Mami, Amen! Gakusa ni Mami, and they cried together for joy. But there was somebody who, who was not rejoicing with us. 
Nasa corner si Rake. Makigsunan. Pagtanaw, Rake. Ingunod, Dad, ako sa di ko save, Dad. <laughs> Kung ano, Rake, when did you say that? Ingunod, Dad, I know you've been struggling with this, but I'm just shy to tell you about this about two weeks ago. Kaya nga mo nakadimi, ang nga mo simbahan, sa kilid lang diya po ni Rariana. So every break time sa academy, ka nga mo may sudyante mo gawas, o niya mo adto na diya sa puniran, tanaw nila, kung kinsa'y namatay. Halos everyday may naag yun namatay. So pag gawas ni Rocky sa pagtanaw kung siya namatay, di sugata siya makikisura, salubong siya sa babae, sad, nga nakailan niya, hala, Rocky, dugay ka na, di pangita ni Lolo. Namatay si Lolo, si Lolo ning namatay. Di pa pangita yun ka niya. Nga naman kaya itong bataan na wala naman kabalik. Kaya nindot bata ba ito siguro si Rocky is about 10 years old that time or 11. Pagka nindot siya yung isulti, tiguha nga yung witness ni Rocky. And he was so happy he received Jesus Christ. Singo niya, balik-balik ka diri dong ha? Kaya nindot, ti o mo bata ka ba? Mo unang imo mga sinultihan? Didawat niya si Kristo. Pag ingon sang apo sang, sang lulo, nga namatay na unya, mauto ang disar siya lulo, mangita kay Rake. Si Rake, he was convicted by the Holy Spirit of the Lord. Ingon niya, wow, nasave to si lulo, ako di ko save. That night, to my children, God save. I'm so glad, mga kikisunan, I'm so glad that it is no longer their father trying to convert their heart. It is the work of the Holy Spirit of God convicting their own heart. Bringing them under conviction of their own sin. And with the help of the Holy Spirit of God, crying out to God, asking for mercy and grace to save them. What about you? The desire of every pastor is for you to really get assured of that heaven. Can you imagine you've been here for 40 years, 50 years, and you are not saved? Wow. Ikaw ang pinakadimalas, tanang dimalas na ng kalibutan. <laughs> you have a Bible, you have a preacher, you have a church that emphasizes and focuses on those things and yet you will be left behind. You will suffer for all eternity in the lake of fire because you will, not, you will never say to the Lord, Lord, may impyerno ko? Ang ako perish all the while. Natao ko sa pamilya kristyano. Na ako kanon ay simbahan diya. Na ako nidukar ba ko sa akademi. Everyday Bible. Bible everyday. Pero magigsona, pangutana na ako, do you really know Jesus Christ personally into your heart? My desire is for our people. The desire of our pastor is for you, as a member of this church, to get saved. Know his desire. The second desire of Paul is not only the salvation of his people, but his second desire is their spiritual strength. Spiritual strength. Makita nato sa Ephesians chapter 3. In the book of Ephesians chapter 3. And verse 13. Ephesians chapter 3. And verse number 13. The Bible says, Wherefore I desire, in Unipol, Wherefore I desire that ye faint not at my tribulations for you, which is your glory. For this cause I bow my knees unto the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named, that he would grant you the desire of Paul, that he would grant you according to the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with might by his Spirit, in the inner man, that Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith, that ye being rooted and grounded in love may be able to comprehend with all saints what is the breadth, the length, and the depth, and the height, and to know the love of Christ which passeth knowledge, that ye might be filled with all the fullness of God. That is the desire of the man of God for you. That you will be strengthened in the Spirit of the Lord. That you will become mature, growing spiritually, being strong in your Christian life, strong in your walk with God. 
knowing who your God is and the love of Jesus Christ that is able to keep you, preserve you, and you can overcome all the trials because nothing can separate you because of that love of Jesus Christ in your heart. Nothing in this world can separate you from His love. Maunag disar ni Paul, magigsunan. When you are growing spiritually, you are strengthening the spirit and growing in these things and rooted and grounded in the truth and in the love of Jesus Christ, why panahon mo backslide? Dili mang madinaugon ang unod na to. You know, we will always be victorious and triumphant as Jesus Christ has declared us we are more than conquerors. It is a poor testimony of the power of God. Kanunay, you are always overcome. Ang imog sisulti, ang kabiguan sa buhay. Nga naman na kristyano man ko. Nga naman na baptist man ko. Hap? In town, mga kigsunan. Nga naman di ka happy na akasimbahan. Don't you know worship is a celebration of victory? We are worshiping a victorious God, a living God, not a dead God. Nga naman ang say, muragwa sa atun buot ang say, nanat na si man, perumukan tata, Oh, victory, Jesus. Victory ang ato, gikanta, pero mga kisunan, murag, building ang mga tingog, o buses, o expression ang ato, ng mga noong. Gusto sa ginoong mutubo ta, muham tong ta, kay dili ta masaligan sa Diyos sa ministry, if we are not matured and strong, So ang hamo pagampo sa hamo mga membro, Lord, strengthen my member. I know the pressures coming from the world. I know the attacks of Satan. I know the spiritual warfare they are facing every day. We want them to come Sunday after Sunday, every service we have with a victorious and triumphant spirit and attitude. Not being defeated with a testimony of defeat by Satan or by the world or by their own lust. So nga mo, pag ang pwintaon, mga kisunan, mauna nga mo, preach me. Amen? We'll do everything we can because we want you to grow. We want you to to be mature and strong in your Christian life. And sometimes, nakinang lang itong mga trials to strengthen us. Do you appreciate sa si pastor, mga kisunan, wala kami ibang interest, concern, nga ikaw, muhamtong ka? mag-grow ka. Because you will not always be with you 24 hours. You can face the world, you can face the enemy if you're strong and have the victory in your life, your own life, if you are only strong. Have you realized nga naman may ingon ang mga pastor, ang new pastor, read the Bible, pray always. Read the Bible, win souls, because that is one of the sources of our joy. We win souls, we make heavens glad. All the host of heaven is joyful. There is joy in the presence of God over one soul that repenteth. Over one soul that received Jesus Christ. And sure enough, if you are winning souls, you are also happy. You, are, you will be happy. Why are, you, why are we preaching to you? Because we want you to be mature. Be blessed by the Lord. Be strong. There are a lot of cults right now. False teachers. False teachings. If you're not grounded in doctrine, if you're not grounded in the truth, if you're not grounded in the love of Jesus Christ, you will be deceived. May mga contemporary churches, may mga they just offer entertainment to the people. Come and we are going to sing and we give you the music that you want. You will be entertained. But when it comes to the preaching of the truth, wala na. They will spend one hour, two hours singing and you know, having a spiritual disco. Pag-abot sa preaching, tulog na sila. Real singing and songs in the, in the church is just but a preparation for you to receive the real thing. That's the Word of God. So, sa iyo pa nga ito, pag tanaw niya na makisunan, we are missing the true worship of the Lord. Somebody is practicing song, the choir is trying their best to prepare your own heart for the real preaching of the Word of God. Amen? 
But if we only come to sing and to listen songs to be entertained, mga kaigsoonan, and then pag-abot sa pulong sa Diyos, wala na. May ngun, wow, kabalo ka nakita na ako sa Amerika, no? Nga naman na ginana naman ang Amerika. They can spend hours and hours sa open field, tanahon basketball o uh, baseball or kanang mga tanang nga ball, football, bubayad, padlag po kayo nga kwarta diha para lang makatambong ulanan inita na adiha for hours. And yet they cannot stay for 30, 45 minutes preaching. Karang mong mga tanang sila, why are our churches dying? Why are our churches closing down? Because we are no longer giving emphasis to the preaching of God's word. This is the one that made America great. The Word of God. What can you expect in a Christian life, my Hesunan, from Monday to Saturday, ang yan nakita, kalibutan. He's exposed to the music, to the many voices of the world, from Monday to Saturday. Then comes Sunday, what to Simban, late pa, wala pa Sunday school. Can he become strong? Would you expect a strong Christian? Oh, that we'll go back again to the old-fashioned preaching of God's Word. This is the one that we need. Then this is the thing that the world is needing to hear. The Word of God. We do not need any more, any more, more politicians or anybody's experts to solve problems. We need more preaching and exposing ourselves to the very Word. Of God. And that is what we desire so that you will go. You are not going to grow watching your television, playing with your cell phone, and you know, being hooked up hours for uh, many hours in your Facebook. No, you are not going to grow spiritually. We are going to be victorious Christian if we spend time with the Word of God, growing in truth, growing in the love of Jesus Christ, knowing Him personally. In our lives. So the desire of your pastor is that tanan ka mo makasigurado gawin sa inyo kaluwasan. Kaduwa mo tubo mo o gmulikon mo ispirituhanon sa inyong pagkinabuhi. Mauning as Ephesians chapter 6 kita gantar sa spiritual armor because we are fighting not against flesh and blood. Mga kagsunod, grabe ang ato pakigawayan si satanas ni. Amen? Ang mga demonyo niya. Wala mo sayo na may mga demonyo pa di agalingkod. Pastor mo simba di ay na. Ang demonyo, di na siya kasimba. Ang mga demonyo sa ito ginoo, naala siya diya, kuyog-kuyog. Bisa na siya ka, kuyog-kuyog ka kasi mga demonyo. Naala siya diya. But he cannot have the ability to worship our God. The demon can, can come to the house of God. Like this building with you. With us. And Satan is always the accuser of the brethren. He's the great accuser. Through his demons, Alam na yan, nakaka, nakakasulod siya baan. Pero lahi-lahi ng imo giga. May mga kristuhan, ingon niyo ba? Tanong na, abin niyo mo nagbasa sa Bible sa iyang uh, cellphone, kundi ay nagduwa-duwa sa iyang cellphone. May demonyo, katanaw niyo mo, na lang skillet niyo mo, giyakusar ka sa iyang sa iya master. So, we have to be, we have to take heed to all these things. We need to be strong. Taking the whole armor of God. And then, the next desire of Paul is in Philippians chapter 1, verse number 23. Not only desire salvation for his people, desire spiritual strength for his people, but also in Philippians chapter 1 and in verse number 23. Philippians 1 and verse number 23. For I am in a strait between two having a desire to depart and to be with Christ, which is far better. Nevertheless, to abide in the flesh is more needful for you. Uday katulong at desire ni Paul. Ingon niya, kanindot ba yan? Maguna-una ako sa langit? Maguna-una ako sa ginoo? Maguna-una ako sa nga ako kinabuhi na dito sa langit? Pagkanindot na yun mapuli sa langit. Di ba ako sa'yo? Mausad na ta? O sa'yo mo, anak, anak pa Diyos, ha? Ganda ko ba ginoono kung sa langit na ni? Kung sa langit na ko, di na ko magunoon ako sa nga ako kanunugma, oy. <laughs> Lanta problema sa dagang mga butan, hindi kalibutan na, oy. O sa'yo, pertin ka po, yabiyan ni nga ito. Kanang maligo lang, ano? Kaya, 
dili mo maago di ta maligo kana lang maligo makikisyon we will spend time unya ko ba sa inyo ba tag usa ka oras ka nang buhok pa lang ha unya usa report ka oras dili para sa mukha na sad ano ad na imo na buhaton perting bisuran pinangabuhian ni ini sklabo ta mao na ingon dili po ug ato pa kinabuhi dili si Kristo ang motibo na ito, dili si Kristo, di isklabo ta sang ato, another master. Mauna ang ingon ni Paul sa Philippians, ang uban sa inyo, your God is your belly, and your glory is your shame. Kaya nga naman, usay may mga Kristo, anon, basta siya na gani ang mapiktuhan, the next thing they will do is to drop off church. Basta mapigado na gani ang sitwasyon, ang unang himoon, i-cut off nila ang ila tithes and offerings. Kay una, hindi kay siguro daw, hindi, ang tiyan. Seek ye first the kingdom of the belly. That will make you Christian. Not Christian. Amen? So mga Christian, kung sa'yo may ngunit, Lord, what a struggle in the flesh. Lord, I want to be in heaven, a perfect place, a joyful place. No more distressing news every day. No more crisis over there. No nice, no more aches, headache, stomach ache. Why no mga aches to? Perfect place. Amen? Ingon ni Paul, I wish I could go to heaven now. Pero ingon niya, to stay a little more. More years here on earth is more needful for you. So, but pa sa but na desire ni Paul, Lord, I want to stay a little bit more because I want to stay and serve my people. Amen? Tanawa na nga ito, Pastor. Huwag ko gaingon niya, Pastor. Pauli ko na sa langit. Ito, yung raha. Ato ang imo mga classmate, ato na si Pastor Bladay, ato na si Pastor Brad Porto. <laughs> nga naman niya pa mga dini. <laughs> Pasalamat ta mga kigsunan. Nga ko, si Tatay Abante. Ang ka mga, ang mga kauban si Nini, Pastor, mga kontemporary siya, ato na ta na sa langit. Pastor Win Siciliano. Have you realized that one? Ang mga amigo niya sa Amerika, Jerry Falwell, Jack Hiles, Ha? Lee Robertson, mga nagkuha ang mga tao na, ato na tara sila yun. Brother Al Yang, oh, hingan ni pa ng tanan, ng mga mahingan na nyo, pero si Pastor Tan na apagyabon. Amen! He want to stay a little bit more, to serve us all. He is not our servant, He is God's servant. Serving God's purposes and plan for our lives. He takes the order. He takes instruction from his master to serve his to us. Sa mga protestante yung simbahan, ginimok nilang esklabong ila, Pastor. Pastor, you are our servant. No. Your pastor is not servant of men. He is God's servant. Amen? He serves to us the purposes the will and plan of God for our lives. He wants to stay a little bit more with us and serve us. What a joy, what an inspiration, what a hope that we have. What a blessing that we have. 49 years in the ministry. Our pastor is still here. Amen? No, his desire, his desire is for you to be saved. His desire is for you to, be strong, to become strong in your Christian life. For you to, uh, for, for you, mga kikisyonan nga iya pa maalagad ang pulong sa Diyos ninyo, ang kabubuto sa Diyos ninyo. Number four before last, in Philippians 4.17. Philippians 4.17. Another desire of Paul and every pastor, not because I desire a gift, but I desire fruit that may abound To your account. What is the desire of our pastor? He desired his special blessing to be abounding on your life, on your account. Nalipay ang pastor, nakita mo gipanalanginan mo sa Diyos. 
ang ako fulfillment o satisfaction and joy. Makita na ang ng mga membro. Pastor, giblisingan ko sa gino, nakaupin ko gamay ng negosyo. Pastor, nakakita og trabaho. Pastor, nakapasar ko sa board. Pastor, ana-ana. Pero tinalipay ko sa ilang blessing. Because I know one of the purposes why God has given me to you as your pastor is to bless your life. And it will be my joy to see your blessing. Amen. Ang only Paul, not I desire a gift, but I desire fruit that may abound to your account. <laughs> we are giving some special gift as an expression of our love as we shared our blessings to the man of God. But you know, in return, in all actuality, makikisunan ang tinood nga blessing o dakong nga blessing, mubalik ni mo. You do not give to your pastor because he has many things already. He has plenty of blessing. Uh, si pastor, dili na na pwede tagaanoy. No, that's not the issue. The more you bless your pastor, the more God will give you blessings. And the more God is blessing you, makikisunan mo na yan mo desire. Wow! Miserably, said me, oh, makita na mo, miserably ni nga mo mga membro. Sometimes I would look up to God and say, Lord, what have I done to this member of mine? Di ba, giluas ni mo ni, gintugyan ni mo na ako para mablessingan niya kinabuhay sa kalibutan. Wow, yun ni say blessing. Eksklabo ni sa nyawa, eksklabo ni sa iya, pangibob, eksklabo ni sa iya, kuglingon, eksklabo ni sa kalibutan. Karun na save na siya, naana simpan. He's under my care. Mag- Lord, Gamita ko mga blessing sa ako mimbro. Matudluan ko siya sa mga pamaagi, formula sa blessed life. Pero nga naman, Lord, dili man ni siya na. Dili man ni na blessingan. Nga naman miserable man ni backslider man ni. Dili may malipay, may isunan. Pero sa diya nga gagro ka, you are blessed spiritually, blessed socially, mentally, emotionally, materially. Mga isunan, perti nga mo kalipay niya na. That Special blessings may abound on your account. Then lastly, Romans chapter 1, verses, verse 9. Romans chapter 1. Know your pastor's desire. Romans chapter 1, verse number 9. Paul said, For God is my witness, whom I serve with my spirit in the gospel of His Son, that without ceasing I make mention of you always in my prayers, making request if by any means now at length, I might have a prosperous journey by the will of God to come unto you. For I long to see you, I desire to see you, that I may impart unto you some spiritual gift. To the end, you may be established. That is, that I may be comforted together with you by the mutual faith, both of you and me. Now I would not have you ignorant, brethren, that often, oftentimes I purpose, I desire to come unto you, but... Uh, but was let hitherto that I might have some fruit among you also, even as among other Gentiles. I am, I am debtor both to the Greeks and to the barbarians, both to the wise and to the unwise. So as much as in me is, I am ready to preach the gospel to you that are at Rome also. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. For it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believe it to the Jew first and also to the Greek. The last desire of Paul is that he desired to share the gospel with his people throughout all the world. To those who have not heard the gospel yet. During the time of Paul, I want to come to Rome. I want to come to you. To fellowship with you. To preach to you. To impart to you. To share to you some spiritual gift. But at the same time, I want to preach the gospel over there with you to those people who have not known yet Jesus Christ as their Savior. The same desire with our pastor. Why are we raising more teams? Why do we have all these venues where we can preach the Word of God? Jail ministry, voice, all this ministry, sending out missionaries in many parts of the world. Why? Because the desire of your pastor is for the evangelization of the world. It's to share the gospel. And he said, My, I am always ready, ready, 
ready to preach. I am not ashamed to preach the gospel. 49 years ago, he said to his provision, Bye-bye, I am going to preach the gospel. And we are the result of that. Because he has been loyal and focused on that commitment he has. His great desire is to be able to preach and share the gospel. Makikisunan kitang resulta niya na tanan. Have you realized that one? Hangtod may kinabuhi pang ato, Pastor. Let us know his desire. Support his desire. Be with his desire. He wants to share the gospel all over the Philippines. All over the Philippines. His joy, his satisfaction, his fulfillment, inspiration, and his hope, my exunan, is to, to know that the gospel is being shared in many, many places to thousands of lost people in our country and other parts of the world. Know his desire. Can you pray tonight, Lord, help me, help me to be a helper to meet the need or to meet the desire of my pastor. Help me to be an instrument to also meet his desire. Can you bow your head and close your eyes as we close tonight? Preaching. The piano will play softly. I'm not going to ask you if you are going to raise your hand, but God is speaking to you. Know your pastor. Know one of those things that you need to know about him is to know his desire. Are you ready to also yet to say, Lord, help me to be available, to be ready, to be an instrument, to be a blessing to my pastor's desire in my heart. Come on, God bless you. Yes, that's the way. Come on. That's the way. God bless you. God bless you. Yes. 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 Mga lalaki una, mga lalaki. Can you come, man? Man, God bless you. God bless you, yes. Yes. Is that a hard thing that God is asking from you? Is that a hard thing to express for our pastor here who have given his life faithfully to the Lord for all these years? There are some men in this church that they'll also publicly, not being ashamed of it, to say, Lord, yes, thank you for allowing me to know the desire of my pastor. What about you, ladies? Ladies, take your time. Come and join these men that are here in front. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Paul became a great preacher, a faithful preacher, because God has given him men and women who knew his desire in the ministry and they've been made available to meet the desire of their pastor. Come on, God bless you. Who else? Shall we all stand up as the piano continues to play? Shall we all stand up? Then you can... Come to the aisle, come here to the front. Whatever your, spe your special request and prayer to God, personal prayer. God bless you. Who else to come? We are going to stay long. I'm going to give you to our pastor right now. Let's all pray, please. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the privilege we have to serve. I pray that our desire is to be able to glorify your name, and to be able to reach other people for Jesus Christ. We praise you because this privilege has been given to us, not only for the purpose, but for also that we'll be useful and a blessing to other people in many parts of the Philippines, in many parts of Cebu City, and Lord, even through our missionaries around the world. Help us to be faithful. Thank you for these ones that are here today in the altar. Lord, touch them, use them, and Lord, glorify your name in their lives and direct them in everything that they, they want to do. Our desire tonight is to be able to see that our lives will be useful in uh, teaching them, edifying them, and strengthening their lives so that when they, they, they need to grow and become a blessing to other people also. I pray your blessings upon those churches that are serving you in different places of the Philippines. May you help their pastor to be faithful at the same time to be able to teach others also. And Lord, we thank you for the blessing today. And we love you and give you all the glory and the honor. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen.
Can I ask the usher, please, as we are going to collect those uh, envelopes? Those of you who still want this envelope, you can put something in here. Mike Exunan, you are free to uh, have this one, one of these envelopes. Put a special offering, birthday offering for our pastor, and at the same time, this will go to the ministry, especially for his desire to cover the entire Philippines with the gospel of Jesus Christ. This will be, okay, so... Uh, others, let us collect those that we have given this morning as an envelope for a special uh, offering for the L300 we are going to secure. Okay? As some of the pastors will also give their commitment in Mindanao. Let us be praying for our pastor as the Lord will, you know, makaya ni Ayalawas, Mam Gisalva like that. But I know there are two to three hundred pastors waiting there in Mindanao for him to, you know, he is just an inspiration to hundreds upon hundreds of pastors here in our country. So I pray not on si Pastor Magigjunan, how the Lord is using his life. So I pray not on our conference this week uh, that will start on Tuesday to Thursday. Si Pastor uh, Ray Subrabas Moy host. There will be about more than 300, I think, pastors will be coming over uh, in that place to attend. So. I pray not on my children and success in any conference. All right? And so, ushers, please you come. Magkuha sa atong to, mag envelope. O, kinsa pa sa inyo, wala basang uban sa inyo, naghatag na, gihulog nyo na ang envelope kanina. May napa, may kinanglan maghulog. And so, siguro, kinanglan na itong ushers na to para mo kolekta ni atong mga envelope nga may unod na, ready na. Okay, so ara nga to mga sirs. Murag nagkuha lang to sa ato kun ba special offering. Kun wala ka kadawat og uh, envelope this this morning, pwede sad ni mo da mabutang mabutang mahulog ni mo sa ato offering bags. Okay, that's good. Okay, pasa lang brad, pa, pasa lang. Row for row. That's the way. Okay. So, do not delay. Do not spend much time doing that one and may God bless you yes may God bless you this is your greatest investment imo na imnon palit ni mo kok na imakdonal ni mo ugma wala na na inom na ni mo kok pagtigab ni mo wala na carbon wala na ano pabilin sugar diabetes ka pa whatever you give for the cause of the gospel will always stay for all eternity and that's the thing this very thing my kingsuna that matters most in the sight of the Lord. That it would be a great, great investment. Thank God for the vision and desire of our pastor to cover the whole Philippines with the gospel of Jesus Christ through our saturation ministry. Pray for our teams also that are involved in doing this one. That is a real sacrifice on their behalf as well. Thank you. The answers are collecting. May God bless you as you do that. Accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Savior and of His command, give Bible Baptist of Christ and His sister. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and of the Lord, and of the Praise the Lord. Because you have testimony that accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Savior and of His command, give Bible Baptist of Christ and His sister. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and of the Lord. Because of testimony that I said that Jesus Christ is your personal Savior, and the means command give Bible Baptist Church of Tyson and his sister, the name of Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost, and the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Because you have testimony that accepted that Jesus Christ is your personal Savior. In the midst of man, in the Bible, by the source of Christ and his sister. The name of God and of the Son and of the Lord. May I give you my Praise the Lord. Thank you, Brother Louis. Please all stand and sing Opportunity, okay? Everybody, Brother uh, B-Boy.
Let's get ready to sing on the verse together. Let's sing. Your problem is a compliment tailored to just your size. It may well be a heaven sent opportunity in disguise. Why complain about the problem? Rejoice in the opportunity. You have a chance to grow in grace. Take hold of responsibility. The reward is worth the suffering. There's glory some sweet day. Praise God for the problems on your way. Before we sing the next verse, Group 1 leaders and members will meet after the service, okay? Then this one, Group 6 leaders and members will meet after the service. This one right here announce that Group 3 leaders and members will meet after the service. Now, there will be a voice uh, a meeting for all voice volunteers. If you're a volunteer for the voice ministry, you have a meeting with Brother Ocasiones. Lord willing, this month of September, we will have a uh, uh, container coming. Container. Plenty of goods. 40-foot container, I believe. So, Brother Louis Sikat, Brother Louis? Where's Brother Louis? Huh? Brother Louis will meet with all the volunteers, Mercy Network volunteers. Mercy Network. Can you say mga volunteers in Mercy Network? Mercy, Mercy, Mercy. Taas, taas, kamot. Taas. Okay. Meet with Brother Louis Sikant, okay? Right here in this area right now, right here. Balihin mo, Brad, balihin mo. Tanang Mercy Network volunteers, the other day. Diri. So, kamong na diha isbog isbog kamugom diutay, okay? Okay, we're going to sing verse number two in a moment. While we sing, right here in this area, okay? Verse two. Let's sing. The friction is for polishing, pressure a worthy test, proving and revealing your weakness and your best. Why complain about the problem? Rejoice in the opportunity. You have a chance to grow in grace. Take hold of responsibility. The reward is worth the suffering. There's glory some sweet day. Praise God for the problems on your way. Last verse, let's sing. The problem you will solve today surely will come again. Count it joy and you will say You were glad you had it then Why complain about the problem? Rejoice in the opportunity You have a chance to grow in grace The reward is worth the suffering There's glory some sweet day Praise God for the problems on your way. Wednesday, Wednesday, Dr. Felicerda will preach for us. Amen. My thank God for the work. He has arrived from Congo just a few, few days ago. And we are really grateful for the work going on. God bless you. You are dismissed.